okay so this is this will be uh, recorded so that you can hear next time so nathaniel hawthorn uh, this is the writer of this novel and as i have said that oh sorry this man uh, before going to the novel we have to look about the history of uh, of the writer of the age because the writer and the novelist will try to catch the history of the very period okay this man nathaniel hawthorn and uh, he was born in 1804 may july okay uh, july 4 1804 and he died in may 19 19 may 1864 okay and first of all you see that what he will do after uh, when he was born after the birth of this writer his father died his father was a captain so what he will be at the age in some time i have noted that he has a comment over there he has said that I don't want to be a doctor and live by man's disease. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is it is it is hot on own speech. And then he said that nor I want to be a minister and live by their sins. Yes, and also I don't want to be a lawyer to live by their quarrels. this is the li- i like it very much okay so this he don't want to be a lawyer to live by their quarrels so what he might be he said that yes so i don't see that there is anything left for me but to be an author as the time okay we can take writing as a profession okay but at that time when hawthorn had been writing they could easily take writing as a profession okay and now we have become very much busy and for this reason we do not have time to read and write novels and other okay and here you see that you it was his desire that to be a writer and uh, he was not successful at the very beginning of his writing and next time and next time he wrote this novel that is the scarlet letter and the house of seven gables and the short story young goodman brown among others the scarlet letter is the famous writing written by nathaniel hawthorn and he wrote it in 1848 and it was published in 1850 okay so we can have a look he was born in salem massachusetts okay and and the year was uh 1804 okay these are the writings he wrote my kinsman major molinex roger marvels burial young goodman brown and the collection twice told tales the best known for his novel that is the scarlet letter and it was published in 1850 okay and he was born in 1804 so when at the age of he published this novel and for this novel he is famous in the world of english literature okay and his use of allegory okay as i was started to talk that is the scarlet letter scarlet means the crimson crimson in color red red but the red color the red may, may be deep red okay that is called crimson color so scarlet means tok toke lal okay so scarlet letter letter a b c this are the letter so scarlet letter is the name of the novel 
so lal tok tok ekta letter etar abar ki ortho okay so they it has some symbolic and allegorical meaning okay and the letter what's the letter the letter is a the scarlet letter when we will be uh, we will be discussing about the novel we will discuss so scarlet letter his use of allegory and symbolism makes make hawthorn one of the most studied writer okay and but hawthorn heritage was not from uh, america 200 or 300 years back hawthorn uh, 200 years back okay hawthorn hawthorn ancestor came from england and they came from england to america and uh, they were william hawthorn first emigrated from england to america in 1630 and then settled in salem that means the places where the author was born and massachusetts it is an state of america and massachusetts and william's son john hawthorne was the uh, where the three judges hawthorne's previous generation father grandfather uh, grandfather they were the judges and it is claimed that they were the harsh judges okay very strict in their principle and they were famous for their uh, ju judges and also criticized for their judges so look here the name of this ancestor except w hawthorns okay nathaniel added w in his name to make a difference between the jars past uh, the, the 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 negative history of his previous generation that means they were the jars they were cruel and for this reason they were criticized so their forefathers name except this w okay hawthorne put w by himself in his name nathaniel later added a w to his name to distance himself from his side of the family and and uh, his father was a sea captain okay and he was died in 1808 that means four years after the birth of of our author nathaniel hawthorn but nathaniel hawthorn's mother was very rich she was the name was elizabeth okay they were very rich and after that Nathan and two of his sister and Elizabeth they were forced to live with Nathan's maternal uh, uncle's family okay they were rich who are rich Nathan's father was captain and their mother was Elizabeth but they were rich okay and after the death of the captain that means Hawthorne's father, the family moved to live with their maternal uncles. They were forced to live. Okay. So, there in their family, there was uh, no male guardian for after the death of Nathaniel's father. Okay. And for this reason, he became a wayward. Nathaniel became a very much wayward. He did what he liked. Okay. In his own likings. And uh, and uh, one thing happened at the age of nine he got leg injury nine yeah most probably early age nine or twelve he got leg injury you see that you might be a writer you might be a reader you can if you read so this leg injury gave Hawthorne a chance of reading Okay. So he started to read voraciously several writings at the time of his leg injury in an early age. Okay. And that was and which and developed a uh, voracious appetite for reading and set his sights on becoming a writer. So his leg injury, he took his leg injury as a chance of reading. Okay. 
you might say that yes i am very much busy i do not have time to read okay everybody is busy so you have to make the use of your time where you will read okay so you can take an example from northern hawthorne's life that yes he, he was injured and at the time he started to read and with the aid of the wealthy uncles young hawthorne attended broden college in 1821 and he graduated in 1825 uh, 1825 there he met and befriended with hawthorne's watsworth long fellow another famous writer actually be friend how a man be, uh, can become a writer your friend your environment your family or everything and even your habit of reading can push forward yes i can write now okay so you have to maintain so hawthorne did so and long fellow and another one future president franklin pierce by his own admission he was negligent students with little appetite for study he was not a good student okay i always make fun with the little kids okay oh don't read so much you don't you know rabindranath didn't attend to school okay he was very much actually he had many claims that yes i am sick today i am not able to go to school okay eh? so rabindranath became a famous writer leaving his school okay so don't read i make fun actually but what right, tagore did tagore has a voracious habit of reading okay so our writer hawthorne he didn't have much he was not the brilliant student first bencher he was the last bencher okay not very much careful about his reading but for the cause of his intention or attention of writing he became a writer and he has written so many books important books and now we are reading hawthorne okay and as i said that his writing is uh, allegorical and symbolic society and the personal life will be the theme attending college uh, uh, they they returned in a home okay and there uh, for a 12 year stay after his graduation he got a chance that he will be staying in a house for 12 years in that house what did he do in this 12 years he passed a very isolated life he used to live in the terrace terrace or attic attic you know upore chile kotha ei chile kothay 12 ta bochor se isolated ekdom nirjon kar shonge kothao bolto na kintu ki korto he used to read he used to read 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 up read it okay okay so he used to read many things from the uh, uh, from this 12 years okay if we remain silent or locked in a house for one day okay then if we suffer from chikungunya oh my god seven days i can't go out but himself hawthorn himself take shelter and he took this isolation as a chance of reading he read 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 many things and this gave him this opportunity of isolation gave him the intuitive to be a writer okay and also he is a very introvert also hawthorne is very introvert naturally if you do not mix with other people this is called introvert extrovert means you are exposed that yes i am here to come here and say you this is extrovert but introvert means kotha batra ekটু kom bola manusher sathe hi hello kom bola okay so this is introvert so he was introvert and uh, after several years he uh, he got a chance of uh, actually their family also suffered from the economic crisis okay every most of the family especially many families uh, writer they suffer from economic crisis same thing happens to hawthorne he they had been suffered from the economic uh, crisis but after some time he got a chance of job okay uh, and this uh, uh, this provide him a little bit opportunity to he become a uh, he worked for the boston custom house custom house you know custom house and his duty was to way way you know to make weight way weighing and gazing salt and qual okay 
look here, if you study the biography of important persons, then uh, you might be startled to see and listen what did they do in their personal life. Okay. Today's writer was not the writer in a day, on a broad daylight. Okay. They did many things, many odd jobs. Okay. And the varied jobs and the varied jobs, odd jobs gave him the experience. Okay. So Hawthorne worked for a for a custom house where he has to weigh some cool and salt. Lobon coil agulo map korte hobe. Abong gates hoteche kono jaygay ekta guarantee dawa kono kichu diye dawa. Okay, such kind of job had been done by our our novelist Hawthorne. Okay, why we are reading this? We are reading this to study. If you study the author's psychology or the environment, it it will be easier to study the novel. Okay, so it was about. And then he became a uh, successful and marriage. Okay, he in uh, in uh, 1842 he was introduced with a lady, Sufi Sufia Piebody, his name. Okay, <laughs> Sufia Piebody, a painter, illustrator. Okay, and uh, and uh, a transcendentalist. Transcendentalist. What does it mean? Transcendentalist. Okay, you may be inspired by your fellow people. What does transcendentalist mean? Transcendentalist means transcend means periye jawa. Okay, uh, transcendentalist means yes, uh, especially who believe in spiritual or uh, spiritual thoughts. माने पार्थिव जीवगतेर पुत्र विश्वास ना करे उपोरे uh, transcendentalist their belief in the spiritual world not the they believe in the virtual worlds spiritual worlds not physical worlds they believe so uh, Hawthorne introduced with Sophia uh, Peabody and oh my god and Peabody and a printer illustrator and transcendentalist during their courtship Hawthorne spent some time at the Brock farm community okay and where he got to know Ralph Waldo Emerson, okay, several so some other persons, okay, and also Thoreau, another prose writer of American poetry. Actually, this might be the inspiration of a poet. How he, uh, how he became a poet. Okay, he didn't find transcendentalism to his favor, but living in the commune, commune allowed to him. Uh, save money for the impending marriage to Sophia. So he was married. Uh, the couple were married in 1842 and they quickly settled in Concord, Massachusetts. 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 Okay. And rented old man's, an uh, old house here, a nine acre, consisting of nine acre, he owned this house. And he started to live and he changed this na name of the house he started to live there and uh, um uh, and the man and the man his school friend pierce franklin became the president and when he became the president he has a god of uh, consul general that means the ambassador american ambassador to england okay and at that time he got fluency and uh, when uh, Franklin Pierce lost his job, that means he, his presidentship was over, then Hawthorne lost his job <laughs> okay. uh, for the political favor. Weak president was the elected and Hawthorne lost his appointment for the political favorism. And the dismissal turned into the blessing, giving, okay, the blessing. He was dismissed from his job, but it was a blessing and he got the clue. Actually, he got a job of a customs. Actually, uh, uh, actually, the caretaker, you might say, the caretaker of a house, and he got the clue of writing this novel we are going to read. That is the Scarlet Letter. He came after dismissal from his job. A clue. And... Uh, Never feeling comfortable living in Salem, 
he was not feeling and he went to uh, Italy and then he moved to house of Linux and Massachusetts where he f formed a close friendship with Moby Dick writer another novel we are going to read the name of the novel is Moby Dick and who is the writer Harman Manville 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 na Manville okay he got upon uh, acquaintance with this writer writer of Moby Dick that means Harman Manville and they had a good friendship with this writer and and for this reason Harman Manville dedicated his writing to Hawthorne okay and this uh, the, the, that was the all and in uh, 1952 uh, 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 wrote a campaign biography of the college friend he wrote Hawthorne stayed in England from 1853 to 1857 this period served inspiration for Hawthorne's novel Our Old Home he wrote another novel and okay and the final years after 1806 he was becoming apparent uh, in, in sick okay and striving to rekindle his earlier productivity he found little success draft were mostly incoherent and left unfinished and some even showed signs of psychic regression and uh, for the months in may 191864 he died in sleep he went someplace for the better treatment but uh, at the time he was sleeping and he died okay and uh, you can get the source of this one w uh, https and then also you can write this and also you can you can uh, download this one also from uh, uh, www.salameng.com Shabai uh, likhe na website ta. So this is about our uh, writer. Uh, briefly, within the half an hour or forty minutes, we have finished. That means we have uh, learned about we have.